Hello students. So now let us um, look at the suggested solutions for your assignment 10.3 on percentages in real world context. So the first question goes like this. The profit on the refrigerator is 35% of the cost price. Uh -huh. There's a typo here. So let me correct it. This should be P-R-I-C-E, right? So cost price, if the profit is $280, find the cost price. So we know how to do this, okay? So to, let's present it properly. We know that 35% of the cost price, which is actually the profit, so it is $280. So we want to find the cost price. We need to find 100% of the cost price, right? So 100% of cost price is going to be 100 over 35 times $280. That means the cost price is equals to $800. There we go. Part 2. The selling price. Well, we all know that the selling price is simply the cost price plus the profit. So it will be $800 plus $280, which gives us $1,080. Moving on to the next question. The mark price of a folding table at a hypermarket is $45. So that's the amount that was on the label when you're selling it. And the hypermarket gives a 12% discount during the sales. Find the sales price of the folding table. So what is the sales price? The actual price that's being sold, right? So original is 45. After 12% discount, it becomes um, something else. So how much is the something else? Well, it's going to be 88%. Why 88? Because 100 minus 12 euros 88 right so sales price will simply be 88 percent times 45 dollars which bring us to 39 dollars and 60 cents okay next one right here we have city who buys a fax machine and sells it to leading at a gain of 25 percent on the cost price right then leading then sells the fax machine to Nadia at a loss of 25% on the price at which she buys it from CD. So that's her new cost price, right? It's a different cost price from CD. So if Nadia pays $360, how much is CD pay for? So to help us to visualize, we can see this, right? This is from CD to leading to Nadia, right? And then what happened? Nadia pays $360, right? So over here, it's a gain of 25%. Over here is a loss of 25%. So what does this mean? Okay. So this means that to find the, how much the city actually pays for, we need to start to find how much leading actually pay for and sells for, right? And that will be actually 25% less than what uh, Nadia paid for. Okay. Therefore, okay, leading price. Okay, let me write it properly let's start by 75 percent right of leading's price which is the same as nadia's price right therefore leading's price is going to be 100 over 75 times 360 dollars and that will give us 480 right so that's the amount that actually uh, leading, leading actually got, okay, so far, right? Now, we work from here, we work backwards to get uh, Nadia, right? So again, this was gain of, gain of 25%, so 125% of Nadia's price, sorry, City's price. City, huh? Of City's price is going to be equals to $480, right? So, see this price, 100%, uh, come on, 100%, all right, of city's price, to calculate this, we take 100 over 125 times $480, which will give us $384. So therefore, okay, city paid three hundred and eighty-four dollars on not on four 
for the fax machine. Okay, let's move on. Next question. On its 16th anniversary, Brand A offers a 16% discount on all items. Members of Brand A are given an additional 14th discount. Right? Uh, that should be 14%. Another typo. <laughs> Apologies. Huh? So it's 14% discount. Right? Let's go back again. Okay. So, a non member bought an item for $420 during sales. Find the mark price. Right? So, from here, what we can do. Okay. Now, this is a. Uh, 16% right so 16% means we actually paid 84% so 84% of the mark price is the amount that was paid and the amount is $420 okay therefore the mark price will be equals to 100% out of 84% times $420 which gives us $500 okay so that's the mark price part two this time round okay it is a member you get additional 14% okay so what happened 14% means the amount paid is actually 86% right because 100 minus 14 is 86 so the sales price members equals to 86% of the discounted price which is 420 which gives us 361.20 20 cents okay right moving on next one Ihao orders one plate of seafood fried rice at a restaurant which offers 25% discount the mark price of the Seafood fried rice is $9.50 given that there's a service charge of 10% and a GST at 9%. Find the total amount of money he has to pay. Right? So let's uh, work this one up, right? So the price after the discount, right? Price after the discount. Okay is actually 75% right so 75% of the mark price which gives us 7.125 however he has to pay okay um, the GST and the service charge right so total amount okay so let's uh, Factor in the GST. GST is 9%, so he has to pay 109%, right? Multiply by, and he has to pay 10%, right? For, so 10% is 110%, so 110 over 100. 10% more for the service charge of 7.125. Okay, so we take our calculator. We have uh, 109 times 1.1 7.125 which gives us $8.54 right and that is the uh, nearest cent because for money we, we go to the nearest cent or two decimal places on the dollar okay right next one Joyce's monthly income uh, consists of a basic salary of $500 and a commission of 4% on her sales. If her income is $1,220 for a particular month, find her sales for the month. Okay, so first we need to figure out okay, what is the uh, commission that she received, right? So commission will be the total income minus the basic salary which gives us $720 okay so this is a commission and this is actually 4% right so 4% of 
sales is 720 therefore the sales will be 100 percent over 4 times 720 right so that works out to be 18,000 is that is there more question now that's the last question I should try so I hope you have been successful all the best